Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this lovely 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid that we have for sale. Uh, the Model S Plaid was a new version of the Model S for the 2021 model year. Uh, Tesla does not have exact model years, so some of the 21 Model S's that you might see for sale are the old versions with the older interior, the older design, where, you know, Tesla, they kind of roll out changes as soon as they're available, so I think pretty much halfway through the model year, they started rolling out the updated version of the Model S. And you only get the Plaid with the redesigned Model S before you had the uh, performance with Ludacris. Well now, uh, the top of line performance version of the Model S is a Plaid. New for 2021, you have a redesigned interior. Um, the older interior is kind of antiquated going all the way back to 2012. In fact, we have a uh, 2012 Model S that we recently took it on trade. I'm gonna do a video after this one. Uh, and you know the Model S has held up very well Even the older Model S interiors. I mean for going back to 2012. It feels Still uh, pretty nice for 2024 not too dated, but uh, when you compare it to You know once you get into the new interior it definitely starts to feel a little bit older instead of the vertical screen We now have this horizontal screen that kind of mirrors uh, the Model Y and Model S I think it's a little bit preferable uh, you know, since this is the, the screen that we're used to, like at TVs and computers and stuff, the widescreen. And in fact, you can watch movies on this screen. You can't do it while it's driving, uh, but while it's parked, like uh, we were at uh, the wing stop and we had 18 minutes to wait for our wing. So me and my uh, three-year-old, we were watching the, the Mario Brothers on Netflix while, we were, while it was parked. But the nice thing is, is now we have a screen in the back and you can watch Netflix and YouTube while the vehicle's driving for the rear seat occupants. So that's nice. Um, you can you know watch YouTube as well, Twitch, Disney Plus, and then we have uh, Tesla tutorials. Then we have uh, video games, and this has a pretty fast uh, processor. Uh, you can play some pretty uh, graphic intensive video games, and you can also get an Xbox style controller, and you can actually get a wireless uh, keyboard and mouse too if you want to go that far uh, to play some of the video games. Some of the video games don't require anything. Some of them you can actually, like the driving game, you can actually use the car's actual steering wheel and gas and brake pedal to drive the virtual car in the video game, pretty cool. Um, and then we have the toy box where you have like, you can do a light show, you have a colorizer, so you can, if you decide to wrap it, you can match your car's avatar to the exterior wrap. You have the boom box where you can kind of change the sound of the horn to like a fart or a goat or a cucaracha. You can put on the megaphone and talk through the horn. You have the silly thing like the whoopee cushions, multi-track recorder. Uh, Tesla's constantly updating uh, the vehicles. It seems like almost every month we're getting updates that not just only add features, but also improve the safety functionality. Um, a lot of recalls are fixed by uh, over their updates. Uh, Tesla's, people love to put Tesla's in the news. Uh, you know, when a, when, a, when a Toyota RAV4 gets a recall, it's not newsworthy, but when a Tesla does, uh, it is. But the th difference with Tesla's is most of the time when they get a recall, it's just an over their update. Oh no, I have to push a button on my phone to update my car. Or I have to push a button on the screen to update it. That's fixing the recall. Where a lot of other vehicles have a recall, you actually have to physically take it into the dealership to get it fixed. They usually don't mention that part on the news article, but uh, yeah, Tesla's able to remedy a lot of things and improve a lot of things just with over their updates. Help keeping it relevant. Even I have a Tesla, my Tesla's a 2019. And even though my Tesla's getting older, and maybe my processor is not quite as fast with the over the updates, I still get a lot of the functionality and features as a newer Tesla is keeping my older Tesla relevant. Uh, we have this nice perforated leather, synthetic leather interior. Tesla does not use any leather on their vehicles anymore. I think 2016 or 17 was the last year they offered real leather. It feels convincingly real. And now uh, it's uh, we have air conditioned seats. Uh, so before you could only get heated seats on the Model S, but now with these new perforated uh, seats you can have air conditioning, which is really nice. Nice wireless charger, wood interior trim. So we have this big screen, um, and uh, you notice that we don't have a gear selector. So there's a couple different ways to select a gear. You can use this forward, swipe forward and backward on the screen. There's actually intuitive mode where it can actually kind of intuitively decide based on how the vehicle is parked if you can go in reverse and or forward, which actually works pretty good. Um, you can do that, or you can disable that. And there's also a gear selector here on the dashboard too. So uh, you can press these simulated buttons right here. They're not real buttons, but you can press, press these simulated buttons for park, reverse, hazard lights, neutral, drive, and reverse. Um, let's talk about this yoke wheel. So the new yoke wheel, I think they probably could have done a little bit better with the steering wheel uh, materials, but I do actually have a service request 
with Tesla. Um, so doing all the services is easy. You do it right through the app. That's another thing to talk about. So uh, Tesla, uh, they're going to give me an update. Hopefully, I'm I'm not. They may consider this where I'm going to see if I can get it fixed under warranty. Then uh, we have the rest of the app, which is pretty cool. You can use your phone as a key. You can see there's another software update for this. So if someone's driving, you can see in real time where the vehicle is. Um, if you uh, forgot where your car is parked, um, you can see where it's parked. Oh, looks like I have a message from Tesla. Um, you have a climate control setting, so uh, you know in the morning you can heat your car up, or if it's hot out, you can cool it down. You can put on your heated seats. Also, warming up the car, you know, warms up your battery, so it's a little bit more efficient when you start driving. That's especially nice in colder weather. You can pull up like live cameras and things like that. So if your car is parked, you can pull up live camera views all around the vehicle and inside it. And then we have uh, lots of warranty too left on this Tesla. So if we go to the warranty, we can see that the basic warranty is good till August 9th, 2025. It's uh, February of 2024. So a lot of warranty left on the bumper to bumper warranty. Then, you know, people say, well, how long is the battery gonna last? Well, the batteries in Tesla's are very robust and they last a long time. Some many hundreds of thousands of miles. Uh, but luckily for you, if you buy this one, you still have a lot of warranty in the battery and drive units. So the battery and drive units, the electric motors, are under warranty for 150,000 miles or August 9th, 2029. So a lot of people probably wouldn't even own this car anymore by the time that, you know, the batteries are out of warranty. So, you know, the batteries are kind of like an engine in the car. They're not really designed to ever be replaced. They're designed to last the service of the vehicle. And the Model S has been out, you know, since 2012 and it's 2024. So there are a lot of examples of over 100,000 miles. We've had a few over 100,000 mile Teslas. We've never had a Tesla knock on wood with a bad battery or anything like that. You do lose a little bit of range. There is a battery degradation as battery gets older and uh, they age. But they, like I said, they proved to be pretty robust as a Tesla high mileage club, uh, club on Facebook where you can see there's lots of uh, older Model S's with 300 plus thousand miles still in the original batteries and owners seem to be very happy with them. So you have these uh, nice screen back here. This is a new feature. You have rear heated seats. You can adjust the climate control and of course you can, uh, you know, watch movies and stuff like that. Decent amount of interior space. You have this big uh, glass roof panel to allow lots of natural light inside. Uh, Tesla does not offer opening sunroofs anymore. I think 2016 or 17 was the last year they had an opening sunroof. Uh, not that many people actually use their sunroof so you know with electric vehicle you know a, a power sunroof adds weight and complexity which is your enemy uh, so uh, it's better just to have a glass roof panel and that's just one less thing to to fail and go wrong lots of storage back here you have this uh, cover cargo area cover you can remove that the seats fold down flat so the nice thing about the model s is even though it has a profile like a sedan with a lift back and being able to fold down those seats it uh, makes it a little bit more cargo friendly. This has the upgraded 21 inch erected wheels. This is a $4,500 upgrade. Uh, the color red, I think was about a $2,000 upgrade as well. So, you know, if you compare this to a brand new Model S, uh, you're, probably looking, you're probably looking at about $100,000 for a comparable uh, brand new Model S equipped just like this with the erected wheels and their red exterior color. On the real market, it's a pretty good, you know, deal compared to where they were priced at when they first came out. When these Model S's first came out, they were $120,000, $140,000. I don't get too much in the pricing because we change our pricing all the time. But uh, this Model S right now is priced in the $70,000 price range, which, uh, you know, for a lot of people, you know, $70,000 is still a lot of money. But if you think, you know, this is one of the fastest cars on the road, this is faster than 99.9% .9 of all cars on the road. This, this has over a thousand horsepower from three electric motors, carbon wrapped. The acceleration in this thing is absolutely uncanny. It's so fast, it will make some people uncomfortable. You have a drive mode selector, so you can kind of ramp it back as far as performance goes, but um, it's very docile. If you don't want to go fast, you know, you know modulating the, the, the throttle, Driving around town is very nice, but you put it in drag strip mode, and this thing, uh, you know, zero to 60, nine, uh, zero to 60 under two seconds, the quarter mile, and a uh, little over 10 seconds, quarter quarter miles, I think, is in nine to 10 second range, 160 miles an hour. Uh, in fact, these uh, Model S's are so fast, people are getting kicked off the drag strips because uh, under like the NHRA rules, when once your car goes so fast on the drag strip, you're technically supposed to have like a roll cage, a parachute, <laughs> a fire control system. They weren't prepared for a uh, stock car to be this fast. 
Uh, it's absolutely unbelievable. And aside from how fast it goes, even if you never go fast, it's just a wonderful driving vehicle. It's beautiful to look at. I think it's absolutely beautiful, timeless design. Uh, the autopilot, the traffic aware cruise control, which allows the, uh, the vehicle to brake and accelerate in its own lane is fantastic. Um, and it will make your life so much easier driving and stop and go traffic. This has a smart proximity key as my phone. You can get a regular key, but uh, the phone key is the best way to do it. You just walk up to the car. The car can sense you're close by. You pop open the door handles. You get in and drive. Then you walk away. The car can tell that you're walking away and then it will lock itself. Pretty amazing. Um, maybe one of these days I can upgrade my Model 3 to a Model S. This would probably be the next step in my Tesla ownership uh, evolution. Uh, but maybe if you're ready to get into a Model S yourself, what better way to start than a Model S Plaid? It's absolutely unbelievable. Thanks for watching this video. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.